want to make an authentic Japanese RPG, it has to be full of meaningless words that are hard to pronounce. Mm, and few games have as many meaningless words as Atelier Iris 2, the Azoth of Destiny. Hey kids, want to play a super fun video game about brave sorcerers and epic adventures? Whoa, that is some offer. Okay, here's the downside. It's Atelier Iris 2, the Azoth of Destiny. Destiny. So lame. Yeah, you're right. It's only been about nine months since the first installment, but we're already getting a sequel. Oh, this sucks. Maybe they should have waited a little longer. Shh. You'll spend most of the time playing as one of two characters. Felt, a strapping young lad who ventures out and fights evil. Ha! Or Vise, your sort of girlfriend who stays at home and synthesizes items and weapons for Felt to use. That's right, the man goes out and works while the woman stays home and cooks. It's like Leave it to Beaver, with dragons. Between the two of them, you'll unravel the mystery behind the force that's destroying the Land of Eden and defeat the game's generic forces of evil. We need more power. As you may have guessed by now, Atelier Iris 2 is chock full of anime video game cliches, and you'll probably have more fun counting them than you will playing. Let's see. A feminine sword that talks to you? What are you implying? Check. Ancient piece of jewelry whose true purpose is a clouded mystery? Its true purpose is unknown. Check. British accented villain? Is there no one worthy of serving me? Uh huh. Check. At least it doesn't feature an ear splitting Japanese pop song. Why did I say that? But it's not all bad news. For those players who hate random encounters, Atelier Iris 2 has a nifty feature just for you. This meter is drained during each fight. And once it runs out, your characters won't run into another enemy within that same area. It's definitely a welcome touch. And the fast-paced active battle system makes it easy to keep track of whose turn is coming up next. But that's about as good as it gets. I failed. Characters are a bit too chatty during battle, and most fights boil down to simple button mashing. Die! Also, is it just us, or does some of the dialogue sound pretty adult when taken out of context? Is it true that nobody can pull that thing out? Sure seems that way. Even the Mana of Eden have been trying to pull it out. Forget it, Felt. We'll get in serious trouble. Relax. I've been trying to do this every day. Ugh, he better be talking about his broadsword. <laughs> and by broadsword, I really mean his broadsword. If you're a diehard RPG fan and all you care about is killing two dozen hours of your life, then this is the game for you. What a waste of time. Yes, yes it is. Atelier Iris 2, the Azoth of Destiny, gets a two. It's over. Out of five. His name is Felt? Well, yes, and there is a guy in a David Eddings book named Silk. Maybe naming characters after fabric is a common theme in low-quality fantasy. You read David Eddings books? Seventh grade was a lonely time. How lonely? Very. 